In this video. In this video, Goshunk and I just react to A Haunting's next episode uh, from the last one. Here you go! Yeah, double episode. Oh, double oh. episode! <laughs> when Randy Irvin dabbles in the occult. <laughs> in the true. <laughs> in this world. Okay, um. hold on. <laughs> he unleashes dark forces he cannot control. Night after oh, night, vengeful spirits torment him Jesus as he Christ. struggles to protect his family. All right. To free himself from evil's grip, Randy turns to a white witch, unaware that a battle with a demonic has just begun. So we don't really use white witchcraft anymore. The term white white witchcraft, white magic, is totally outdated. So we usually just say like, if it's, yeah. I usually say if it's harmful mm -hmm. spells or whatever, or he, if it's healing or if it's harmful. Standish, Michigan, a rural town near the shores of Lake Huron. I like how they've made it try try to make it look sinister by just making sure that they filmed when it's really cloudy. Of American tribes. Excuse me, what? Day, Many of their descendants believe in the divine power of the spirit realm. God damn it. With this comes a profound respect for the dead and a warning. Profound respect for the dead. On my bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with honoring your ancestors, okay? That's part of my religion too. I totally no. missed that on my video but you know part of the hellenic religion is definitely like honoring your the people in your family and it's just it's yeah. just wild to me that they're making it sound like like people don't do that people already like, don't do I that i think that's the standard for pretty much any religion yeah is, is yeah like venerating your ancestors or even like um respecting the dead in some way exactly shape or form so there's a form of respect for the dead the disturbed sacred burial grounds will unleash oh. the unholy I'm not Native American, so maybe someone else can give me some insight. But I heard um, yeah. from a Native American person at one point, they said the amount of times that um, they wa they see like paranormal investigators talk about ancient burial grounds when there hasn't been any ancient burial grounds in the area. Now I'm just curious about this book right here. Witchcraft in practice and study i've never seen this book in my whole entire life mm. and i've been studying Me paganism either. for since i was 13 years old so cool prop though really cool prop it looks really nice i wonder if it actually has pages <laughs> yeah one of those one of those fake books that just open as like a box <laughs> just like a box just like a box <laughs> dude that would be so cool i love that okay the year is 1974 22-year-old Randy Irvin has Random lived in 70s the area music, all let's his go. Life. I wasn't mm -hmm. in college. I love the way he drives too. It's very sexy. Eventually, Randy finds a job working for the US Postal Service. The narrator makes everything sound so creepy, but I love it. Yeah, I like he for works it. for the postal service. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to make a bingo card and put demons, mm -hmm. witchcraft, um, yep. finds, you know... Uh, white witch, black witch. Yeah, of course. Black and, magic. Uh, at the end, they turn Christian. Um, yes. Uh, what else? Moves into a new home. Um, it's a job at the post office. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones on there? G-O-T? Oh, it could be. <laughs> Game of Thrones fan, let's go. <laughs> that his father mm -hmm. Roy has been renovating. My dad would take. He these... does. He does have a Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Uh... Game of Thrones, definitely. And he also made renovations sound terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> his father was making renovations. Okay, I don't know why I sounded very seductive. But... <laughs> seductive, spooky. There's a fine line between a, the two. There's a fine line between the two, actually. 
a new house. Did you get a job at the post office? <laughs> Where you get the job from the post office. And uh, refurbish and rebuild and whatever they need you know, to bring them up to par and to have them ready for a rental property. Look how pretty that house is, though. It is really pretty. It's just an Airbnb they're bringing out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why are you dig- wait 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 a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute why are you digging in the basement? My question is: In America, is your basement just soil? Okay, yes and no. Like genuine question. Yes and no because where I grew up, the basement did have dirt because my parents mm-hmm. were too poor to uh, use put cement down. But like, mm-hmm. it's not a normal thing to have a dirt basement. So I guess they're renovating it and it has a dirt basement, but still that's like, why would you want to be digging? Why wouldn't you just want to put pour cement? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a fixer up. I'm not a carpenter. So I don't really know. Like you're digging it up, but where's it going? Because you're just putting it (laughs) next to the hole. (laughs) Like how are you getting it out? (laughs) (laughs) Where are you putting it? (laughs) I gotta know. There's not a wheelbarrow. He's just spading it onto a pile. <laughs> He's digging a hole. But where is the dirt? <laughs> the post office. <laughs> <laughs> it's being delivered to his neighbor. <laughs> Here, here's some goose dirt. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Happy haunting. Onto dirt, five pounds. <laughs> onto dirt, five bucks. <laughs> Here you go. You're welcome. Just give meaning to that. I've got a jar of dirt. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. i got a spade of dirt. And guess what's inside it? More demons. Dirt. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I got dirt demons. Mm-hmm. It's not a dirt devil. It's a dirt demon. A dirt demon. They always say demon, too. It's only a dirt devil if it's from the sparkling region of hell. <laughs> yeah, the specific <laughs> ring of hell. Okay. <laughs> it's after the fourth ring. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's bones. The bones. Oh, bingo card. Tick. <laughs> Did the bones talk to you? Okay. Yes, let's pick it up. Feel it. Touch it. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, at least you have gloved hands. But, dude, you know what I would be doing? Screaming my head off. Mm-hmm. If I saw I would a be femur. calling the police and leaving that where I found it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, God, oh yeah. that was his father. Okay. Oh. That was his yes, dad. Yes, that's his dad. Then we've got Jake Peralta returning home. Jake Peralta! <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Jake Peralta. But it's the aviators, really. Look, he's still in the basement! The police haven't been called! Yeah. Hey, he's not that? even holding the bone. He's not even dragon. talking about it yet! That would be like the first thing. If I was yeah, too I was stupid. Like, I found a bone! I found a fucking femur down here. <laughs> look what else I found. That shouldn't even, yeah, that should not crazy. even be an afterthought. Look what I found! No, that should have been the first thing out of his mouth. If, if there are no the police, police should be the yeah. second thing. The, yeah, first, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> if he didn't, he would be like, look what I found, I found a, a tibia, fibia. It looks like a tibia bone. Tibia bone and the dirt. God, these people are psychotic. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. Look how many, no, he only found one. I don't have this house. Dude's been busy. Yeah. This is over 100 years old. I think they might be human. Yes! You. Yes. Big. <laughs> what else could they be? Mysterious uh, story from the He's past. He's just gonna get put in the about. box? So he was wondering. The box. Bones. Bones. I hope they're not human. <laughs> Take them to the police. If someone was buried here, they shouldn't have been buried. Oh no! <laughs> Roy contacts a local physician who he hopes will. A physician, your first thing should be the police. Because they don't look very easy. Provide itchy. some answers. So, uh, what do you think? Well, I think you might have stumbled across an, an old uh, Indian burial ground. You, you know, it's quite common. That it was a common thing what? to find. I don't, I feel like it's not common at all. I don't Although, think that's common. I feel and like I we would be finding them everywhere. Mean graveyard. Yeah. yeah. I, f- I feel like if we would like find them everywhere. Skelling- yeah, three skeletons, maybe burial ground, but it would probably have to be a significant significantly higher amount than one that is not a burial ground <laughs> that yeah. is one person that was probably murdered in their basement 
<laughs> these people. These people. I know uh, <laughs> grave sites like. Mm -hmm. I, th I think we ought to respect the dead. I'd rebury and be done with it. Wow, this fucking guy. And they gotta go back where they belong. My dad what? didn't like the idea that this grave site was under his house. We put the bones back in the ground and we kind of felt comfortable what? and confident that we did the right thing. Wait. No. If I were, okay, so if I were a ghost, somebody murdered me, mm -hmm. put me in the ground, mm -hmm. someone found me, and I'm, you know, I'm a ghost, I'm sentient, I know this, I would be pissed. I'd be like, you found my bones, you dipshits. Yeah. Do something. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's, don't fucking rebury re me. Rebury me? I'm haunting your house! <laughs> mm -hmm. For a reason! Randy is disturbed by the discovery. Randy is disturbed by the... <laughs> Yet something about it intrigues him. He becomes fascinated mm. by Indian burial grounds and the mysteries that surround them. One day, on my... I came across this book on witchcraft. <laughs> it drew me... To Okay, a book I've never seen in my whole entire no, life. I'm, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google it. I've got. It's to see gotta be a prop. A it has to be a prop because I witchcraft wasn't uh, that term hasn't been used since Wicca was founded, which was in the 1950s. A book like that would not be published mm -hmm. in the 1950s. There's, it's a prop because I've seen this book being used as a prop in, in another sh in the other episode. Yeah, but I love it though. I I hate it and I love it. I love the look of the book. Like, I would love a book like that on my shelf. Oh, it yeah, beautiful. 100%. 100%. It absolutely does not exist. It doesn't exist. There is the study of witchcraft. The witch's Bible? But it's it's oh, basically it's basically Wicca, essentially. Yeah. yeah. From the fairies. Most of the book you find modern day are yeah. Wicca. Yeah, that's pretty much. That's what I'm saying. There's like very few that aren't, so. Nobody uses the term witchcraft. Before the 50s, before Wicca came out. To it. I want this book and so bad. my full attention went on this book. It's got pages. Oh, it's got pages! Oh. oh, yeah, here we go! Oh, shit. I can't. It's blurry. There's no... I don't know what these are. I've never seen this in my life. That is the Legend of Zelda symbol. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Therefore, it is, is so linked cool. reversed. So it's the Nega link. <laughs> and this, this one just looks... Is that the Star of David, kind of? Mm, no, because it's an eight-pointed star. Five, six, seven, Whereas eight. David is six. I don't actually know what that star is. The only thing that I've seen close to that is actually in Christianity. Randy oh yeah, there's nothing. The there's there's no English in there. Can manifest. Guys, no. reading. Uh, oh wait, no, it does. It's just Lorem Ipsum. I, I think. I can see the word, word magic. Do I the see the word magic? Other than that, everything's too blurry you to do read. Do not something to do. Uh, what? of candles could you use or should you use do you squint a little bit you can read it something kind of crafts should you use i i think that says candles oh oh you know what you're right what kind of who gives a shit about what kind of candles you use just pick up a goddamn candle doesn't have to be any kind of color yeah. doesn't mm -hmm. i love how like the, the premise of the only these... reason that you would pick a color is because you believe in a color right like, Color has you can assign things to colors. So, for instance, green was often money mm -hmm. because money is green. Um, or it is in America, it isn't here. So I've always found that a bit confusing. Um, yeah. But like green is assigned to money because it's an American color practice apparently, mm -hmm. and red is assigned to love and passion and that kind of thing. Any fucking candle will do. <laughs> Any candle will do. But I love how the premise of these episodes are like, they didn't know what to do. They were messing with magic that they've never, they have no control over. And this book literally tells you what specific candle you should use. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The same. There's only the, one type of book telling you how to do yep, things, and it's this book, and it tells you exactly how to do things, and they always do it wrong, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> which is so far from the truth. From consecrated burial grounds. Talks he about Native American stuff too. Instructions about that. Those symbols I have no idea. Spirits. I've never seen those before. Uh, it talked a lot about people that had passed away. Call. The four? I've 
I have no idea who I've any of those never, people are. I've so. never seen this in my whole entire life. They sound like someone's next door neighbors. Anastasia? Lavariki. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I call up Sem- Corazona, mm-hmm. Corazonia all the time on the phone. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's she's my uh, good time good girl. My <laughs> child. My friend. My good time girl. <laughs> What's that song? Um... Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. <laughs> yep, that's, that's her. Corazinia. Corazinia. There we go. The, it must be the four elements. Earth, air, fire, water. I, guess, but I feel like this is just some names that they picked out of a hat. And it's not a very good one because they're not very easy to pronounce. So how are you going to call them? Yeah, if it were, I feel like there were the elements that would make more sense, but... Thank you.